Lunar Orbital Platform Gateway, or LOPG, is NASA's led Crew Tendencies Lunar Space Station that will be built in 2020s. The International Space Station Partners, European Space Agency, JAXA, or Japanese Space Agency, and Canadian Space Agency, or CSA, are also looking to join the project. The Lunar Orbital Platform Gateway is the new name for now defunct Deep Space Gateway. However, the LOPG isn't replacement for International Space Station, which is planned to retire in 2028-2029. However, replacement for ISS is yet to be announced and funding put in place. The likelihood of ISS or International Space Station serving into mid-30s is something under consideration and European Space Agency is very keen on keeping ISS running way into 2030s. In essence, uh, NASA wants to build a space station that will act as a gateway to Mars and the Moon. It will be constantly crewed by at least four astronauts. Ideally, the station will be built by 2027-2028 with four main modules. The power and propulsion element, or PPE, will be used to generate electricity for the space station and ion propulsion. It is targeting launch date is 2022 with SLS, or Space Launch System. The Cislunar Habitation Module can be used for maximum of 21 days habitation. It will be sent during the exploration mission 3 and will have docking port for the Orion. The Gateway Logistics Module will be used for experiments and logistics on board of the space station. The equipment includes a robotic arm, which will be built by the Canadian Space Agency. It will be sent during Exploration Mission 4, and the Gateway Airlock Module will be used for performing extravehicular activities outside the space station and will be the berth for the deep space transport. It will be sent on the Exploration Mission 5. Lunar Orbital Platform Gateway Station will grow as more modules are added, just like with the International Space Station. As international partners join in, in particular the European Space Agency, Japanese Space Station uh, Agency and Canadian Space Agency, the station will expand. Once Deep Space Transport, um, which is an inter inter interplanetary space transport spacecraft, um, starts to dock with a station, uh, every time there is a manned interplanetary mission, additional modules might be added. Lunar Orbital Platform um, Gateway launch schedule will see first module launch in 2022. The propulsion and power element should be launched on board of SLS Block 1 rocket. The power and propulsion element will provide high rate and reliable communication for the gateway including space to Earth, space to Luna, uplinks and downlinks, spacecraft to spacecraft crosslinks and support for spacewalk communications. Finally, it can also accommodate an optical communication demonstration using laser to transfer large data packages at faster rates than traditional radio frequency systems. In 2023 or early 2024, habitat and logistics modules will be launched and airlock will be delivered by a manned Orion mission in 2026. This is when the station will also get a permanent crew. With this capability, crew aboard, the gateway will live and work in deep space for up to 60 days at a time. Adding an airlock to the gateway will enable crew to conduct spacewalks, enable science activities and accommodate docking of future elements. NASA is also planning to launch at least one logistic module to the gateway, which will enable cargo resupply deliveries, additional scientific research and technology demonstrations and uh, other commercial use. Cargo and logistics module will be added in 2028 and this will enable refueling for deep space transport to dock with Lunar Orbital Platform Gateway. During the exploratory mission 9 or EM9, Deep Space Transport will perform one year manned cis lunar space exploratory mission. The rundown crews will test all the systems and procedures for future manned mission to Mars scheduled for 2033. Just to add, the crew will also participate in a variety of deep space exploration and commercial activities in the vicinity of the Moon, including possible missions to the lunar surface. 
Officially, NASA hasn't mentioned Lunar Base or an outpost as the funding for such project isn't in the budget proposals. However, the close links with European Space Agency could see NASA joining European Space Agency's own project, the Moon Village, which is scheduled for 2027-2028 timeframe. In my next video, I'll be looking at deep space transport and what it means for manned missions beyond Earth.